we're making a drink today. Yay, I make drinks every Friday that I see on Pinterest that I think look like they taste delicious, except for once a month, I look at my handy dandy uh, craft cocktails calendar to tell me what I should make. And guess what, it's our lucky day. Today, we're gonna find out what the June cocktail of the month is and I'm gonna make it. So far we have tried uh, an Amaretto Sour. We have tried the classic Mai Tai. We have tried a Bloody Mary. We have made a Dark and Stormy. And just last month we made the Mint Julep. Didn't care for that one bit. This month, da 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 da, we're making a classic margarita. I think that's lovely. I have had margaritas. It is a favorite of mine. Um, a little bit sweet, a little high in calories, so I don't drink them too, too often, but I'm happy to make one today. Let's get started. Okay, to make this drink, it looks like we're going to shake up uh, 35 milliliters of tequila. Who measures by milliliters? We're gonna put a shot of tequila in for simplification needs. We're gonna then put a little less of a shot of Cointreau in. We're also gonna put, well I have a triple sec and I read that that's pretty much the same thing. Uh, and we're also gonna put in a uh, fresh lime. It says 35 milliliters. I like to put as much in as possible to offset the taste of these other two items. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna rim our glass with salt. We're gonna pour in our shaken content and we're gonna garnish with a lime. It's gorgeous. I feel like there's something missing, like a sweet and sour liqueur, or, well, basically just that. Okay, so that was salt. Why do I put salt? I don't like salt rim. It's not bad. It needs more lime, but it's not bad. It tastes like a margarita. It tastes like a strong margarita, and I'm not mad at it. I can still taste the tequila. now. I know that's what happens with cocktails. You can sometimes taste the hard alcohol that you put into it. I try to avoid it at all costs, and I keep going back in. That's when you know you've made a winner. Everyone should know how to make a margarita. It's just one of those talents that you should be able to manage. You just never know when someone's gonna show up and ask for a margarita, and then what are you gonna do? Depend on a calendar? It might not be June when this happens. So I was kind of complaining to Pat earlier that I'm feeling rather uninspired lately and you know, just like kind of down, like hmm. And, and then he started talking about mental illness and depression and the recent celebrity suicides and um, our own affiliation with people who suffer from um, mental, you know, instabilities, depression, anxiety, what have you. And after the conversation, I was like, thanks, honey. You really know how to cheer a girl up. <laughs> An uplifting man to hear that I was struggling with YouTube content and then to balance it with a little, you know, reality check. So that was nice of him. I will always recommend a classic margarita too. You really can't go wrong. Now I prefer blended personally, and I prefer it more like limey than this, but shoot, you just take what you can get. They're really easy to make and pretty easy to drink. So, hey, make one for yourself this weekend and have a good weekend. Cheers. You don't judge me, cause if you did